Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of lead code daily challenge peak index in a mountain array um, So here we have um, an array um, And the mountain it has the following properties. So the line we can The length of the array is bigger or equal to three three. So that's guaranteed that we have three elements and then there is an index that is bigger than zero and then smaller than the length of the array minus one where everything to the left is of i is smaller than than the element at i so um from array zero is smaller than array one all the way until array i minus one is smaller than array of i and then everything to the right of i is bigger so array of i is bigger than array, is um, bigger than array of um yeah uh ev so basically it's increasing and then decreasing so it's mountain so everything to the left of i everything to the left is um smaller right and the next element is bigger than the previous here the next element is smaller than the previous right so that's why um i plus one is smaller than array at i so array of i is bigger than array of i plus one, bigger than the next one, and then all the way until the last element. And the the goal of this problem is to find this index i, okay? And um, if we wanted to solve it just in o of n, that would be very easy because we can just um, because if we can if we can just solve it in o of n, that that should roughly pass. Um, because we'll end up finding it early and so what we can do is just the first time we encounter an element where it's bigger than the next one then that's the eye we are looking for because there is only one mountain right so we can just do one scan and the first time we encounter an element that is bigger than the next we just return that index right um so the solution should definitely pass but it's not the one we are looking for we we, uh, we want to do oven O of log n and O of log n is binary search. So how can we use binary search to solve this? Um, okay, so how can we do this with binary search? So binary search idea is usually to find some monotonic function um, in the search space that we are looking f in um, and then where all the elements first are false um, and then at some point they become true and they keep they keep um, they they keep the value keeps being true so once it's true it stays true or just the other variant is first it's true and then once it becomes false it stays false okay so if we can find one of these two uh variants then we can solve it with binary search if we can find a function okay and um this is what's called monotonic so how can we apply it in our array here? So we have the array and we know that it's mountain, which means basically first we have something like this and all the way to array of i. Um, and then from i, it's bigger, right? So what do we need to find here? Um, so we just need to find the monotonic function and our monotonic function here can actually be just f of x with array of x minus one smaller than array of x right because because this will first is true be, while we are here in the left side of i it's true right because the elements are every element is smaller than the next element and then once we reach i to i plus one it becomes false so this is actually monotonic version like this and what are we looking for we are looking for i, which is basically we are looking for the last true, right? Last true where array of x for i, array of i minus 1 is smaller than array of i. Okay? So that's what we are looking for. So yeah, um, so now we have our monotonic function. It's basically just this function here. And we can do a binary search to find the last point where this is the case. Okay? And just return that and that would be i okay so this is how we can apply um binary search here if we wanted to use this um to use this variant here we can just use this relation and we will be um, looking for the first point where it's true where array of x is bigger than array of x plus one okay so 
that's pretty much it for what we can do and now let's just implement the binary search here um okay so let's implement it so with our binary search we need first we need low and high um as our boundaries so the problem says um so for this version of binary search what we need is we need to choose low and high outside of the possible bounds okay and the problem here we are looking for i okay and the problem says that i is bigger than zero and smaller than n minus one and so what we can do is actually just pick those as the bounds because we are guaranteed that i is not going to be one of those two um so we can then take um so n is the length of the array and here low is zero and high can be just n minus one okay so we always take those outside of the bounds so that w there is no risk um if the solution is the first or the last is the first or the last element in our search space um there is no problem okay and remember here what we are doing is true true false false okay and so our invariant once we start the binary search is that low is always going to be true and then f uh, high is always going to be false and we'll stop once they are next to each other so high is the first false and low is the last true that's where we stop and return low okay um so this is sort of what we'll be doing okay um and so to do that we will just do our while loop here while the difference is just is bigger than one we will stop when the difference is equal to one then we'll take the midpoint which is just low uh plus high divided by two now to avoid overflow we can just use um we can just use division with binary um and if the array um but for first let's just do it with division by two um while mid minus one is smaller than array of mid so remember this is when the mountain is going up this is true here then we want that means that it's a true value okay so we want to assign mid to we want to assign low equal to mid because we want to keep the low value equal to mid and there is no point doing low equal to mid minus one because we we want the last true to be low to be at the last true so if we know already that mid is true, maybe it's here, then we don't want to set low to this. Or maybe mid is here, we don't want to set low to this, we want to set low to this. Okay? And so it's all it's better to do this. Now otherwise that means array of mid, f of mid, which is this function, is false. Okay, so that means it's high that's that is ne that needs to be equal to mid because remember we want high to go all the way to be the first false. So it's always better to set it to mid than to set it to mid minus one because mid minus one is guaranteed um, to not be the f uh, the first false. Okay, and then at the end when the difference is one, which means we are here, when the difference is um, equal to one, which means it's we are right here, then we just want to return the fir the last true, which is low. So the last true would be i, and so that's what we want to return. So we just return low. And we can submit, and that passes, okay? And this function here is O of log n, n being the length of the array, okay? Um, yeah, so um, just keep using, I think, this approach of finding a monotonic function, and binary sh search should be, be very easy to do. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye.